Frank and Sons uh, has been in business since 1971. It's a really interesting story. He started a uh, real small business, uh, purchased this garage. Um, uh, really, it was only a two-bay garage, and uh, with the assistance of several of his friends, um, they actually dug a trench for the alignment pit um, by hand. In the winter time, and it was a really hard winter and a lot of snow. He actually just told us a story lately that it, there was so much snow that he actually had friends come down with tractors to plow the place out because because there wasn't much room. There was only maybe room for four cars back then to, to park. It has gone from two bays back in 1971, now it has 42 bays. The largest renovation which occurred back in 2007 where they went uh, and, and added on a facility that now will be able to incorporate commercial vehicles of any shape and size, any size motor home, they do fire trucks, they do a lot of larger commercial vehicles, 18 wheelers, tractors, all sorts of things. So it's really enabled them to expand and, and grow their business tremendously. Um, I started working there when I was 13, I was washing cars and, and, um, and learning how to detail. Um, both of the boys got involved with a business back in 1986. Uh, that was when Frank changed the name of the business from Frank's Body Works to Frank and Son's Body Works. In, in 1986 when he realized that we were going to come into the business, he pretty much he didn't even know his size, he just went out to the yard and said, make it this big. <laughs> um, and, and he still says to this day, it's a dream come true for him. He loves to help people. He's, he never sits still. He's always got to be on the go. He's down in the Florida Keys right now and he's waxing other people's motorhomes. And... He's a social person, but in the same same sense, he's uh, he, he was always quiet about helping people in the community and um, things that he felt strongly about. Around Christmas time, uh, he would go and see if any any needy families needed anything for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. And he, he would always front all the money and, and, and go around and get whatever was needed. There was several years ago a family that would, their home was completely devastated in a fire and they were very, very active in supporting this family, getting them back on their feet. Um, just an amazing family, but they do a lot of things behind the scenes and uh, it's, it's, it's very admirable. We're very good with cars. We can, uh, all the insurance companies when they come in, they usually put a, a date on how long it takes to do a car. We know how to get them in and get them out and do them right. We try to always do it right the first time, but if something's ever wrong, we always take care of it. We, Customer's always right. My dad's my dad's reputation was always um, do a great job and give a little extra. He was always the guy that said if there was a scratch on the car, touch it up, clean the car completely inside and out. He always believed in hard work, and, but he also believed in playing hard. That's our, our other motto: is work hard so we can play hard. Todd and Scott have been very very involved with the business obviously since then. But we'd borrow the money from him, and then we'd put the money back every week on his dresser, paying him back every week. So we, we learned the work ethic and how to pay for things and we still call it the Bank of Frank. And now I am another branch of the Bank of Frank. <laughs> <laughs> They're there day in and day out. Just an amazing company. They do incredible work. Been in business 40 years and, uh, and, and, it's, and it's been good. It's been, it's been great. In Scanty County, you can't, you know, anywhere you, that you go around the, around the country, you could complain about certain things. But overall, um, the community is, is wonderful here. This is where we're from, we love it here. We're not moving. We're not moving. <laughs> Frank Plumnick is just, he's an incredible guy. Over that 40 year period, he's gone from one person, now they uh, actively employ 15 individuals as well. So, a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, but it's just an amazing story and uh, he's, he's quite a guy.